Hello guys, today I want to showcase and expand on one tweet that I found online by Salut2022 and the author of that tip itself is Omar Jasse, I hope I pronounced it correctly. Basically, if you have the same relationship from multiple models to the same model and the most typical scenario is user model, you can put that into a trait. And this tip doesn't show all the details, so I've recreated that locally and I will show you how it works. So where to put that trait and how it all works. I've generated the initial project with Quick Admin Panel. So this is an example how we can use our Quick Admin Panel to quickly generate some database schema. So in this case, we have three CRUDs, three models with belongs to relationship to the same model of users. And to create that in Quick Admin Panel, you just go to add new field, for example, belongs to relationship, and then choose the model to belong to like user. So it was just a quick showcase of quick admin panel, but that's not the point. Let's compare the project model where I didn't do any transformations to the user trait. So usually you have user belongs to user class, but to avoid repeating the same relationship, you can do belongs to a user trait, which you can put anywhere you want. A typical scenario that I've seen is people put the traits in app traits folder with namespace app traits and then inside of that you do the relationship in the trait inside of that trait you should use app model user or you can provide the full path here and then in any model that belongs to the user you should provide trait belongs to user so something like use belongs to user php storm auto completes that for me so that belongs to user also is added on top and then you can delete that user model relationship and your application will still work. So in my case of that application generated, I can create a task, I can add a task and choose from the user, something, something, save, and that user belongs to relationship works from the trade now. And based on this example, what I wanted to show you is you can do that for any functions that are repeating in multiple classes. Relationships is one of them and probably relationship to user is the most common one. But also if you need the same function in all the controllers or majority of controllers, our example in the past, we had file upload as a trait, which was used in multiple controllers. So that's it, a quick video that I wanted to show you. The tweet itself will be in the description below. So you can comment and discuss there as well or below this YouTube video and subscribe to the channel to get daily videos every day. See you guys in other videos.